Hi and welcome back to Amdriven. Today I'm going to talk about the new function that we added for autoforms to get started even easier. Consider that you have a blank paper and you start doing a model, information model, and let's call this invoice and add as an attribute customer maybe and a number that could be an int like that and you would have invoice row that has amount int and a description and you would do a relation between invoice and invoice row and let's have a product with a name and a price that can be a dump like that and you would like the association go that way because the product can have be on many invoice rows but each invoice rows can only be on a product so um going from here let's save this uh, like that. we're just gonna go play system prototyper and save it to an xml file let's call that at something unique and start the system and now we are in XML persistence and we can uh, run the model the way here it is like that mm, let's say that we have both these on screen at the same time like this and as before, the system prototyper uh, will not show much unless you have created view models, etc. and actions. So you are much helped of this in this stage. But there's a new um, functionality, a model refresh, which will reload the model, but also include auto forms. And what auto forms is is what we're going to talk about. So I got this uh, extra menu when reloading with the auto forms. And uh, I get a seeker for each class that I have. So a row seeker and an invoice seeker and a product seeker. So let's start with the, the invoice seeker. And here if I search there is nothing because this is an empty database but if I create one of these objects uh, if I create an object of this class create invoice I get a row here and I can choose to save it or cancel it but I chose to save it and if I click it I get two options to delete it or to show its uh, form and the form will show the attributes uh, on the class. So let's say this is, uh, yeah, my imagination just blew away. Let's say that the customer is called Max and the invoice number is one. Invoice rows is actually a multi-link. So that is brought up in the new window. I chose to save this invoice rows and I can create and add some rows and for each row I can show that row and that is this clause and I say it's five of this and uh, these are burgers and I go back and these are ten shakes like that so without 
actually doing any work with view models and actions, I still can manage all my data to create test data and walk around with the data that uh, follows the model. But this burger row also has a single link to invoice and to product and the product is not set. Let's what happens if we click that one? We get up the seeker and we can search for products, but I don't have any products. Luckily there is a create product here and I can show that product and say that the product is uh, uh, it's a uh, good burger and the price is 25 and I can see all the invoice rows that has this connected to it. None. Back, 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 back. And I choose the good burger to be on the burgers. So now both these single links are set. Mm. Right. So, and since this is the standard functionality for uh, what we call wake puff, you can actually do things like uh, drag and drop to open up things and maybe even to uh, if we were to go on that burger and open the product and search for product and bring that up in its own form like that you might want to associate uh, this product with uh, this uh, link and that's not allowed at this point but that would be a cool feature to actually add things that way so um, I hope you can see the benefit of uh, rumbling around with your clauses as data really quickly without the need to do any view models etc and uh, actually one cool feature is that once you do choose to create a view model for let's say the invoice and we're gonna pick that one and we're gonna say that it's an invoice and we call it the invoice view and we of course want the customer and the number and we want to follow the nesting to multi links for invoice row and in that we want to show the amount and the description and we also want to follow it to the product to get the product name and let's get rid of that like that so once you have a little uh, view model like this and you refresh it with the auto forms you will uh, get the uh, A mix once you do the invoice seeker and you search and you point at this one um, yeah we also must do a, a, a class action for show for this for this show the invoice view I'm gonna do a refresh and this one copy invoice seeker search and then I also have my default uh, or my modeled action and when I bring that up I have the the design form so this way I can design some views and let other views be just uh, out of forms and it's uh, really quick to uh, get access to, to everything you have in the model Hope you like it and if you do uh, make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel it could certainly use some uh, 
more subscribers and also thumbs up if you like it and if you're already a subscriber. Thank you.